guys and welcome to today's Los Blancos podcast where it is another mini edition of the podcast. Um, this week we will be doing uh, some five-a-side teams of based on rounded players. Now let me just run through you how this would work. When you were younger you would have played in a smaller pitch with only five people on a team and I think that is what we're going to do today. So there's going to be one goalkeeper and four outfield players Preferably one uh, outfield player has to be uh, defensively more sound than the others. Apart from that, you can go work wild and pick any players you want. You want some players who are more expressive on the ball, whether you just don't want them to lose the ball. And, you know, you don't need guys who are incredible engines in that team. So, um, so the way that I'll further do, let's get into our five sides teams and goalkeepers. I think this will be a common common knowledge between the both, both of us. Who do you think your goalkeeper will be? I think it will be Ike Casillas for the both of us. I, I would actually go with Keila Navas if I'm being honest, because I think he has. I think he was better at his feet. I think he has more. I, I think he has more. What's the word I'm looking for? I think he has more audacious with the um, with the things you do on the ball. I remember a season match against AS Roma in the eight. 19 season where a ball was sent over the top and he just chested down um, right outside the box with, uh, with pressure from Eden Checo and of course um, he he can sweep I think he can sweep better he's a bit faster I think his his movement is a bit more agile if I'm being honest on occasions and of course uh, I think he he did make some good passes um um in, in the um short passes and link up play for the amateur whether it's on top of the edge of the box or on his goal line so I think Navas would be my option yeah I think the reason is good there I think you know the ball playing ability is going to be so important but the reason I went for Ike Casillas is because in those smaller sized goals I think Ike Casillas would be almost unbeatable in goal you couldn't get past past him you know even in the full size goals you you barely could get past him, you know, reflexes were so good and his positioning was so good. Imagine that inside a smaller goal, I think that would be, he wouldn't, you wouldn't get the ball past him. So that's my reasoning for that. I think um, he would be fantastic for that role. Um, now for the slightly more defensive player, uh, who have you gone for in this role? Um, I've actually gone um, in this one, I've gone for Marcelo. Um, I know that it's a... Uh, um, that he's a left back, and of course you need someone to play more centrally. However, um, my my formation would just be five, would be would be two to one, two to a goalkeeper, then two, then two defensive minor players and two attacker minor players. Um, so I'd go for Marcelo because of course he can be the defensive player to try forward the ball. I think he's one of the best um, players, and not just Real Madrid but for both history with what he can do with the ball at his feet. And of course, he is so good and close control, dribbling, evading pressure, um, evading two to three players at once, uh, with one, with one, um, with, with just chucking the ball forward with a little dink or just um, a little turn. So I think um, I'd go for Marcelo um, in this one because Marcelo can not just defend in small goal football, but I think he can actually attack and help out the team. So I would go for Marcelo as my first option. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've gone for a diamond formation here. I think Marcelo, at the base of that, he would just you wouldn't get the ball off of him. And as a left back, he's one of the best on the ball ever. I think he would be truly magnificent. His skill moves on that pitch would be terrific. The the sauciness on that would be just fantastic. So for me, I think Marcelo there um, in the base uh, would be a good option for me. Um, I don't know how to do this exactly. Do you want to go? Two players at one time and then we'll finish with the main man up top last. I think that will be the best way to do it. So for me, I've gone for two uh, for my two of slightly more advanced players in the diamond. I've gone for Tony Cruz and um, Roberto Carlos. Those are the two players I've went. First of all, to Roberto Carlos, you know, on the ball, he was just truly magnificent. One of the best ever. Um, well, obviously, with the left back, we've already got two left backs. I mean, that's... That's probably the two left backs, the two best left backs in the history of football. For me, I think those two are just truly fantastic. On the ball, he was probably the only superstar left back, genuine superstar left back, you could say, in the history of football. I know Marcelo's fantastic, but in terms of global recognition, I think you could 
most people who don't even know football, I think he could um, say who Roberto Carlos was. So I think for me, I think that 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 sauciness, that bit ability on the ball, would you wouldn't be able to get the ball off of him. And then Tony Cruz, you know, even though he's not exactly the most beautiful footballer to watch, his passing ability and his ability to just not be pressed. I think he would just you wouldn't get the ball off of him. So in that midfield, I think you would want those two. Um, and, you know, slightly more advanced Roberto Carlos, I think that would be great. So what are your other two players? Well, the, the reason why I played, why I wanted two at the back, uh, of course, they're not natural centre-backs or natural defenders, but I would go for Luka Modric and Zidane. I would pick Modric because, of course, um, imagine Modric and Marcelo having the ball from deep and driving forward um, with the ball creating space or maybe linking up. So I, I, I would like to see how Modric and Marcelo play there. So that's why I go for Modric and Zidane ahead of them as the one who is dropping to pick up the ball you know, and of course, um, you know, um, have a turn and a shooting, etc. So Zidane also good, also good with um, how close his close can show his skill, his skill level, and of course, he would just be right ahead of Modric. He'll he be right ahead of Modric and Marcelo, um, two players who can have the ball, can can evade the press from deep, and of course, and of course, make the make the interceptions make the interceptions etc from deep as well because Magic and Marcel are okay defenders in my book yeah and um, you mentioned Zidane so I've I've had to go Zidane you can't leave Zidane out of this team I've gone to Zidane as a false nine I know that's a bit unconventional but in my in my in my opinion I don't think you need a striker when you've got those guys playing I don't think you need a striker you can just literally just pass the ball around the opposition team and literally just pass the ball into the net it's it would just be so good on the ball. You wouldn't lose the ball whatsoever. I think those four are enough. Is enough just to keep the ball, play possession, and not be able to be pressed and just pass the ball into the opposition goal. I know I would have gone for R nine if I put Zidane in the midfield. Otherwise, but I, I it's, it's it's impossible just to get five hundred players in a team. But. Yeah, it has to be done. I think Zidane up top, fantastic. I think that would be an, an amazing team for me, for me. I think you wouldn't need a natural striker. So, well, who have you gone for up top as the main as the main focal point? Okay, before I give you my answer, um, I would just say, um, just touch on something you said in relation to Tony Cruz. I, I do believe that watching a pass the ball and evade the press is something really beautiful that most fans should um should really appreciate if I'm being honest, you know. Um, I think he's one of the most one of the best football players to watch um in world football or in history of the game. But however what I would go it would either be between Ronaldo, um Brazilian Ronaldo I would say, and of course Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo. However, what made me pick Benzema was the game against Atletico Madrid, what he did on the line against Godin, Jimenez and Savage. And that made me decided to pick Benzema um, um, for, for this team because of um, that's how good your control is. Um, of course, turn and shoot or turn and evade um, the, your opponents, whether it's on the line, whether it's deep. So I would go for Benzema um, for that one. And the one that the uh, moment that maybe tipped to him was, of course, the moment against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, and I think the on the ball ability is fantastic of Benzema. Uh, well, just a quick disclaimer before anyone starts complaining about Ronaldo not with Cristiano Ronaldo not being in the team. I think his abilities were more suited to actual football instead of five aside. I think um, these players are probably better than him in five aside football. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I say yeah, definitely. I yeah. agree with you. Yeah, and you know, ultimately, I think that would probably be better for him, uh, and has been better for him, obviously. Um, instead of you know something like futsal, I think um, you know he certainly wouldn't be a bad player in the in the five side of the team. So you know, I think I just personally prefer these players on that team. You know, in terms of just keeping the ball, I think you know if 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 on these on the ball these guys are just you can't press them, you can't lose the ball. I think Ronaldo will quite lose the ball quite a little bit, but I think. You know, 100%, you know, he could have made this team very easily on his own as well. So um, there's there's no problems with that. But that is it uh, for our five-a-side teams. Which one did you prefer? T let, me down, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But that is it for this week's Los Blancos podcast. We'll be back next week for another topic, another pre-recorded podcast. But that's it for this week's. So I hope you guys enjoyed.
Thank <laughs> you.